reason why shit started going downhill for me and my mom and people were simple-minded bitches were objectifying men bitches were obsessing over men and you know i was as a kid like i don't want to fuck nobody game up i don't want to explain myself i don't want nobody looking at me feeling feeling mad i don't want to fuck nobody game up with bitches objectifying them and shit and i just you know i know that when i started writing all that damn music i know some motherfuckers was like a bit agitated because they could tell that i was thinking that i was a thinking person so what i was doing was analyzing they swag that what i was saying i was like well, if I'm a girl, I could at least been a goddamn bitch with some swag. You know what I'm saying? As a date, but they were all like, them whole like men. And I'm like, I can look at them whole the same way that these men are. I don't want them to know that. <laughs> so, but all them hoes ain't look like that. Some of them hoes were just freaked out. And that's the only reason why I'm sitting there goddamn doing all that now and analyzing. And I'm like, Hmm. But um, yeah, they giving me a hard time at my job, and that's why I really want to just work out and shit. Because like I said stress is real. You know, I don't think people understand. Um, that's why I get social security. Like my body. I was saying, I want to go out here and run seven hours, but I'm not going to beat macho in uh, two hours every day and shit. I'm, I'm going to work my way up to it, you know, but it's a lot of shit that I want to do. But the motivation that I need is, you know what I'm saying, what I need. You know, though I told people, I'm going to call chat lines and shit, you know, I'm trying to listen to people that that ain't that ain't nothing like me. Though That will be my detox. how my mom would do it but i just don't think that to a certain degree like i said she 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 became a target i don't know you don't know people just were fucking with my mom and that's the reason why i'm getting so mad because i'm like i'm solid out here and if I get a hold to some guns, I'm gonna knock some of these people out based off the fact of her and my little sisters. And I'm like, I have to sympathize with these people because I had to, they got dads and shit. And I'm like, I have to sympathize. I have to sympathize. And there's nothing that I can do about that. But I'm from Atlanta, and I really don't appreciate all these damn Creole people. That's um. That's, that's, that's thinking that they run in the city like that. I'm like, I didn't even know who these fuck was. Like, I'm like, I'm still trying to live my life. And I'm like, I cannot take offense to the shit that these niggas is on. Because they had the privilege of all. Some of these niggas didn't look right. So I viewed all these niggas as sons. I'm like, I don't know. All these niggas ain't got swag like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like... You bitches soft as hell. Soft as hell. But I, I, I'm I always wish that I was a goddamn uh, man, though. Because I'm like, if I was a man, I would have been a fire nigga. And I'm like, being an FTM, it would have its days. But it probably would make me feel a little bit better about myself. But, like I've said, being a mental person and shit... And being that, you know what I'm saying, I grew up around simple-minded women, and I'm like, damn, if I would have been a nigga, I could have just busted a nut in that hole. And that's all it would have been. You know, um, you know, I'm an intellect. I, I've internalized a lot of people's personalities and shit, and I'm just trying to figure out who I am, like I always been. But, you know, 
being that for what I'm trying to understand is if I was to love a man, what I'm trying to understand is like if I was a man, I would want a cool ass bitch on my side, not a bitch I was scared of. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to like figure out like how are you in love with a man they got in love with another woman and another I don't know. I analyze that shit. Oh God. I wrote that song by Twisted and Chris Brown make a movie. I'm like, these folk, man, these folk really, really own this shit. So now they forming bonds against me. Hopefully, I'm out here. I'm like, hopefully, I survive. Like, cause these hoes having kids for these niggas and they got them doing threesomes and shit with these niggas. But shit gonna get real in the field. I'm at you. I don't care what nobody say. By my damn self, I don't have no mental issues. Like, if you don't respect me, I, I, I view it as a person that need to be killed. So, my disadvantage of being a woman with these hoes is what I'm worried about. I ain't dead yet, but it could happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, A lot of shit as an intellect that I internalized. I tried my best to stay positive as a kid and try not to goddamn be around people that that I knew were gonna be my downfall in life. You know, like the fucked up part about it is I'm still dealing with these folks. I had to let go of people that speak pit land. I ain't had a seizure yet, but I just got these weird sensations flowing through my goddamn brain, like on some real shit. I put that on everything I love. Them niggas got the privilege of busting up. And I got the short end of the damn dick. Big damn stick. My damn head hurt like hell. <coughs> but once my hair grow out, I think I'm gonna feel confident again. But I ain't wanna cut my hair. I cut my hair out because the girl complained about me. Tell me I was trying to be like her nigga. But see, that's what I'm saying. That girl did come from the same background I came from. That girl, that girl. My mind wasn't that open. That's what I was trying to explain to her. That girl was Mexican and shit. And I'm like, my mind ain't that open. All these damn Jamaican people, they got damn stigmatized and everything. We ain't with that shit. I ain't with that damn stigmatizing shit. But when I grow my hair back out, I'ma feel like somebody. Cause them damn locks. Them damn locks make you feel like somebody. But that's what I was doing. I would compare myself to Cody and Black. Compare myself. I made tunes. I was trying to detox myself. Right? But the any, mini, mighty, mo. The instrumental for that is very uplifting. But that's why I was getting mad because all them girls were grown as hell when we was kids. And that's why. I was mad because I'm like, bitch, your ass ain't grown. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. I need to write a poem called Being a Woman in My Downfall. Because ain't no difference between me and the rest of you men, but except, but except the fact that they mean. T fade is why they used to be smoking cigarettes and shit. Getting mad at the fact that other people are being belittled and all this bullshit. Gotta stop thinking about these people's prejudice. They were all done. Like I said, I survived a lot as a kid by myself, as a woman. And I'm like, Atlanta is toxic for me. I'm not sure where I need to go in order to feel upbeat, but I 
gonna say I ain't had the privilege of being a goddamn man, so I'll figure it out. You know, I'm saying eating all them damn fried chicken strips and all that shit. That shit, I got anxiety because of that shit. I don't have anxiety. <laughs> reverse psychology, man. You shouldn't have to use reverse psychology. But I do. Mm. I don't know, man. I'm about to go get me another game for my damn Xbox 360. You know what I'm saying? Stress is real. I have my good days and bad days. I'm sitting here stressing about why the fuck these folks. Say give me a hard time at a job that ain't even hard. Right, I'll be the fuck out child folks. <laughs> oh god. I'm like, man. My damn uncle and my cousin. I don't need these damn predatory men to know why I'm at. I'm like, I'd rather deal with the bullshit from other men from other places that's why i'm saying i'm dealing with all these other men i'm like ain't no difference between you and these men in my family i promise you that so that's why i don't fuck with them because you know some people come up in the hood and you know i'm one of those women that a nigga might want to hang around simply because you know you want a laid back female, but since you got a dick between your legs, even if a bitch want laid back, it ain't gonna matter. She just bust you bust your nut and you ain't mad no more. That's 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 the difference between me and the rest of these me. Me, I sh I'm walking around here looking all like stressed because I ain't got no dick between my legs. My goddamn head hurt like hell. So you do the math. Put your fingers up and do the math. That mental person shit is for the bird. I really hope that God make me a man next lifetime. It'll be fine. Cause I'm telling you, I can wear this man shit like it ain't nothing. This man shit ain't shit. All women I grew up around were a man. You know what I'm saying? I grew up motherfucker playing games like Hold your breath and push your chest in. I grew up like a little boy. And all them people were sitting there. All the men in my family, I used to help them niggas, man. I'm built just like them. Ain't no difference between me and them. They wanna sit there and argue with me. I'm like, nigga, I ain't finna argue with you, nigga. Nigga, fuck you. Try to have them folks, damn man. I wasn't never no damn man hater. But you know what? Shout out to manhood and all y'all niggas that may die because of me. Okay? And y'all children and shit too. Y'all know I'm play. I ain't trying to be so negative, but I'm built like that. So, you know, at the end of the day, let me just, I'm going to keep my, I'm going to try to keep my, my, um, self positive and I just make these videos watch myself because I wore my own detox. You know what I'm saying? I had to realize when my mama had my little sister, I was telling them I wasn't really receptive of that shit. And it's not like I hate them or don't love them. It's just, you know, from an intellectual perspective, like I'm saying, after my mom had me, it made sense for her to be able to have another baby and another baby and another baby like she did because she survived that shit. But, like I said, your mom, my mama should have never had no baby after um learning that you know coming from the 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 generation she came from i guess she just needed love you know what i'm saying and that's what we're supposed to give her and that's why i'm mad because i am somewhat psychopathic like i am somewhat emotionally detached from a lot of people that i grew up around because they ganged up on me and my family i doing all this shit to me and my mama knowing damn well i would knock your ass off Knock your ass off. And I put that on everything. See, that's why 
I developed jealousy for manhood because I wasn't ever receptive of it in the first place. All these bitches sitting here taking these niggas seriously when these niggas ain't built like that. Them hoes wanted to be controlled by a man. They were sitting there being intimidated by my ass with they dumb asses. But, you know what I'm saying? I had a girl who I was hanging around. She used to call me Teddy Bear. I am a damn Teddy Bear. I ain't, I ain't nothing like you think I am. But I will fuck. I will, I will, I will kill somebody off in that bitch. I put that on everything I love. I'm built like that. So, you know, everybody, everybody ain't built like that. Some of these women ain't even pretty to me. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own way. Everybody ain't intellectual like that. Half of these bitches that, you know what I'm saying, I grew up around ain't even, they ain't look good like that. And at the end of the day, I ain't, I ain't loyal to nobody but my damn self. And my mama and my little sisters. And all these goddamn little project niggas and shit. Who been able by all these damn busted baby ass bitches and shit. You wait till I get myself a hotel gun. And you gonna end up getting your ass shot. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Okay? So... But all that being said, I love my mom, and I'm sorry about everything that we've been through because of all these goddamn uh, conceptual things that could have been avoided because of unintelligent motherfuckers. You know, you chose to be a heterosexual woman, and I just want to let you know that my mind somewhere else. I want to knock all these folks off with disrespect to me and my mama like that. Because these folks weren't built like that. Because if they were, we would have been dead. So I'm like, y'all niggas ain't built like that. I put that on everything. That whole masculinistic thing, trying to feel like a man shit. Bitch, I want to feel like a man too. Now, 